Next up is the international object, and it has an object inside of it called the list format object, which has a method called format, which allows us to take an array and format it in different ways that are language dependent. So here we have uh, a main element on this page, and I'm writing out an array inside of here, and I'm formatting it in different ways. So our array is right here, staff, and it's just this list of names. Then down inside of here, we're creating a new international list format object. The list format object takes two parameters. Both, both of them are optional. First one is a language. So I can specify that I want to use English. I can use uh, English-CA. We can use German, German from Germany. So whatever language format you want to use, you put inside of here as the locale. So let's start off with English right now. The second parameter, this is an options object that has two parameters, style and type. And the style can be one of three things, long, short, or narrow. The type can be conjunction, disjunction, or unit. If you choose unit, uh, long is going to be ignored as the style, so it'll either be short or narrow. Right now, um, what I'm you, displaying here is the narrow unit version. So I'm taking this array, calling the format method on my object, and passing in the array. This is going to write out everything in the array just as is, with a space put in between each of the values. If I switch it over to short, what I'm getting is commas being added, a comma and a space between each one of the elements. Now the unit is designed for things like this, where you've got a value and then a unit. So most of the time when you do that, you either just want spaces or you want commas between them, and that's why they created this. I'm going to switch over to conjunction and disjunction because these are the, these are the ones that really make it interesting. So conjunction with short, you can see I've got commas, and there's also an ampersand that's been put inside of here. If I go to long for this, that ampersand is going to be replaced with an and. So conjunction combines them. It's everything in the list. If I go disjunction, I'm going to get an or for the English. Or because we specify a language here, a locale, if I put in German, I get the German. If I put in French, I get the French. I put in Portuguese, I get the Portuguese. So we have all of these different possible languages. There's the Spanish. And disjunction or conjunction gives us the and or the or option for displaying them. Now, long, short, narrow. With long, we get the commas and the full word. With short, we get the commas and usually an abbreviation. So if I come in here and I say short, if there's a possible shorter version, it will do that. Uh, let's go back to the English for that one. There we can see the ampersand instead of the ad. And narrow, what I'm saying is I want to get rid of the commas between them. Now, I've said conjunction, so it's giving me the commas for all of them. This is the narrow format. If I go back to unit, there we go. There's the list without the commas. So a bunch of different combinations that you can use. You can put in different array values and then just mix and match the language and this. And it's a great simple way to quickly and easily write out a language dependent array. So any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. I've got a copy of this um, code sample as a code just linked to in the description, as well as a link to the reference page for list format. And as always, thanks for watching.